What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video of course we have the treasure map playthrough against Chopper and we just wrapped up our stream, the initial stream of when this treasure map first dropped and the biggest question was finally answered about how we got around the special interrupt on battle 3 of the intrusion fight against Chopper. So the way that it worked is, is that once you have launched two specials of either attack boost, or boost, or color affinity, he no longer activates that interrupt. So essentially the third special onwards that is an attack orb or affinity boost, he will no longer react to it. And obviously it makes sense with the way that Luffy works in that, you know, you launch the Luffy special multiple different times. And you see that in this clip here, you'll see how we actually get through the fight in terms of quote unquote optimally. Um, the thing is, is obviously it's way too long to go through it this way every single time, but I was just showcasing to you guys how you're realistically supposed to get through it, how they planned the, the team to go through it in launching Luffy special multiple different times in order to get around that interrupt. But of course, if you have only just a friend Captain Luffy to rely on, you can still get around it without a problem, so long as you have the right Straw Hat characters as your crewmates, of course. Uh, if not, then you will have to find other ways to get around those gimmicks. Um, ultimately, you could use like Legend Uta, because Legend Uta gets around interrupts like that, which is amazing. But obviously, you could use other types of boosting effects, like the Usopp and Yasop dual unit providing a delayed conditional. They provide base attack boost. They have resistance down when you switch with them. So so alternate types of boosts are definitely going to help for sure, or if you have multiple ways to launch the Luffy, that's obviously going to be a great asset to your crew as well. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up from here, we'll pick things up once we get to the next team. Moving on to the first of the Battle Rush bosses versus Gordon, uh, I believe this team doesn't really have any differences from what we made initially in the treasure map preparation and, and talking about my specific team video anyway. Just using the Arena Caesar to wave clear the first two stages, of course we actually find the secret boss on the first run here which is kind of cool. But we have Uta's special ability, which provides an attack and an orb boost to Striker and Cerebral. We have the uh, Hiori character, which is great for, for our crew, because we get the full board of Wano slots. And we also allow us to get around the bind that occurs on Battle 3. Also, Tezoro, we can launch his special to get a 3.5 chain lock. Uh, ultimately, not really required, at least at this level, but definitely will help out as time progresses throughout the map. Moving on now to the second team, and this team probably has the most significant changes out of the one that I made previously, talking about my own personal teams. And the reason for it is, is because initially we were using Cat Viper. Legend Cat Viper is the captain, and we're using his super type special or super class special to wave clear the first two stages. However, what I found out was, is that I completely forgot that their ability in their captain to bypass enemy defensive effects does not work when you're below 50% HP. And what does Legend Shiki do when you launch his special? 
he gets you below 50% HP. He gets you down to like 1% HP, which obviously didn't work. So instead of that, we're just using Daifuku as our wave clearer, and we're just running like the most essential like point boosting style team. Sunny Kun for the reverse and the ship bind removal, Sanji for immunity removal, and then Shiki finishes the job. Moving on up to the next one versus Beckman and Lucky Roo. Now this team optimally you're using double shanks however this team does take quite a long time to get through the content because we have to activate so many different abilities we have to use the gordon special to get around despair we have to use the kobe and uh bluno special to get around the resilience and they also provide an attack boost which is very good and then we have to use both shank specials initial activation giving us chain boosting color affinity second activation removing the enemy defensive effects and then the super type to change the enemy into a strength character so we have type advantage so it's very annoying to get through this stage, but, you know, it provides a lot of points. And even though for mini bosses, like, farming for points in mini bosses doesn't really matter too much, it is what it is. It gets the job done. I'll leave it for now, but, you know, it's probably not the fastest team you can build, that's for sure. Now we can go ahead and have a look at the versus Shanks fight. So against Shanks, we are going to be using Beckman and Lucky Roo, of course, because they're the most optimal captain here. Utilizing both of their specials, both captain specials on Battle 2. So we get the three turns of the, I think it's, uh, what is it, 2.5 point, 2 times orb boost and a three times chain boundary. Very, very good. And then, of course, we can use Shiki for wave clearing. Really nice that both 6-star plus and the 6-star version of Shiki are boosted, so we can use both of them for wave clearing mechanics. And then, of course, when we reach the final stage, we're going to use the two super class specials of Beckman and Lucky Roo to remove more defensive effects, which requires less perfects on our end to get through those defensive effects and completely kill. But, of course, we can activate Zephyr special a little bit later on to provide us with an attack boost if we so need it. やろうと思う。どっちが立派な海賊になれるかって対決だよ。And then we finally get to the final boss, which is versus Uta, and Uta is a much easier boss to clear compared to Chopper. If you can get through Chopper, you're not going to have too many issues with the Uta final boss fight. And of course, we are really taking our time here and launching a bunch of specials just to show how the quote-unquote optimal team is supposed to get through it of course you're supposed to continuously launch that luffy special get all those really amazing buffs and then you kill from there um so you know it, nothing really too complex of course with the fully boosted team and i know that not everyone's going to be able to build this team and i completely understand that but of course i wanted to show you guys how the team was able to get through it because i know even though even if you have the full boosted team sometimes it can be a little tricky on you in terms of actually getting through the content. So that is exactly what we're aiming to do here. But anyways, pretty straightforward with the boosters, of course. But I wish you guys the best of luck in your treasure map grind. I really hope you guys are able to reach the ranks that you hope to achieve. And I really hope that your rewards are really good. I hope that it, people out there are able to get those characters they really want to get from those red tickets. Unfortunately, characters from the film Red Sugar Fest, uh, even just like the generic legends like Chopper, Beckman Lucky Roo, Usopp Yasop, none of those characters are on red tickets, which is super unfortunate. And I believe they will be on red tickets probably starting from either next month or it might actually have to wait until November until the film Red Sugo Fests are officially gone which is going to be kind of harsh having to wait that long to potentially pull them from red tickets but once again we'll have to wait and see how that all goes out but that's going to pretty much wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching guys if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys I will see you guys within the next video